potential strike. Here's a report. The defense of Taiwan is in our own hands, and we are absolutely committed to that. And if China is going to launch a war against Taiwan, we will fight to the end. And that is our commitment. This warning was issued on Monday night, shortly after 56 Chinese jets breached Taiwan's airspace. It was the largest show of force on record. A wave of 52 planes, followed by four more, flew into Taiwan's air defense identification zone. The first wave was composed of 34 J-16 fighters, two Su-30 fighters, two Y-9 patrol planes, two KJ-500 radar early warning planes and 12 H-6 bombers. The second wave saw four J-16s invade the Taiwanese airspace. This was an extraordinary provocation. It followed a three-day air power binge that saw 93 PLA planes breach the Taiwanese airspace. That's a total of 142 planes. In just four days, China has sent more planes to Taiwan than it does in an entire month. Beijing is certainly up to something. It's not clear what exactly. Taipei doesn't want to take any chances. It has started reinforcing its defenses and has called upon like-minded countries to assist in security cooperation. During this period of time, we would like to exchange with other countries for security cooperation. And we would like to engage in security or intelligence exchanges with other like-minded partners. Meanwhile, the Taiwanese Air Force has scrambled its fighter planes. They're monitoring the movement of Chinese warplanes, preparing to repel any potential strike. The country's president, Tsai Ing-wen, has even penned down a warning to China in an essay for the foreign affairs magazine she has written. They should remember that if Taiwan were to fall, the consequences would be catastrophic for regional peace and the democratic alliance system. It would signal that in today's global contest of values, authoritarianism has the upper hand over democracy. She added that while Taiwan did not see confrontation, it would do whatever it takes to defend itself. The question is, can Taiwan defend itself alone? Taipei isn't powerless. It can resist Chinese intimidation, but cannot put an end to it. Taiwan's Air Force possesses around 300 frontline fighters. The Chinese Air Force possesses nearly 2,000. So whenever it wants to, China can easily overwhelm Taiwan. But it sounds easier said than done. Because Taiwan's allies are also monitoring Chinese incursions. In fact, they were nearby when the last incursion took place. This includes American Navy aircraft carriers like USS Carl Vinson and USS Ronald Reagan. The British Royal Navy's aircraft carrier HMS Queen Elizabeth and Japanese helicopter carrier JSIC. They're all stationed near Taiwan's southern coast in solidarity with Taiwan. Back in their respective countries, they say their support won't stop. We urge Beijing to seize its military, diplomatic and economic pressure and coercion against Taiwan. And we have an abiding interest in peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. Uh, that's why we will continue to assist Taiwan in maintaining a sufficient self-defense capability. We will continue to keep a close watch on all related developments. At the same time, instead of simply monitoring the situation, we hope to weigh the various scenarios that may arise, to consider what options we have and the preparations that we must make. For all their promises, it's unclear how far Taiwan's allies are willing to go. 
Would they fight back if and when China attacks Taiwan? Only time will tell. Bureau Report, we own. World is one.